hey, help your boy out. Turn on the notification bell. All right, boys, we are back. It's still Metro Exodus. This is episode 10. Whoops, wrong way, 10. And, uh, you know, previously on Metro Exodus episode 8 slash 9, we were clearing up all the side missions. We were collecting all the collectibles in the Volga and basically doing everything. We're done with that. This is the final mission. Before I yaw and then, you know, yeet, uh, I already did this part, but uh, this this large brain filled to the brim with cancer uh, wasn't recording sound. So uh, I played the entire mission, all of it, up until I get on the train heading to the new area, and uh, there was no sound. And so, you know, I'm doing it again. But uh, you're like, well, that's not so bad. You know, you had to redo one. No. No. The saves in Metro work off of quick save and checkpoints and chapters. So, uh, you know, the quick save was already used up. The checkpoint was, of course, in the next area. So I had to replay the damn entire Volga. And I, I had to make the same decisions I already made twice. But we're back. If it doesn't work this time, I'll, I'll, ooh, I'll kill myself. All right, boys, we back. Let me open the map real quick and show you what I was talking about. I, I regathered everything, did the majority of the safe houses. I didn't get them all this time, I don't think. I think I'm missing like two. But I got all the, the collectibles again. I did all the same choices I did. The little girl's got her bear. I went and saved the civilians. I done all the same stuff. The only difference is I know what's about to happen. So the reactions aren't going to be genuine. So I, I'm sorry, but re. I see you. Come up here on the crane. Yeah, I'm working on it and trying not to have my eaten by ghouls so uh, give me a second wife I'm bird up we go all right so uh, like I said before it's not gonna be genuine reaction so I'm not gonna fake anything but there is a decision at the end that can change and I'll explain when it happens and uh, it hurt me right to my bones uh, the first time around I, I still got what I wanted decision wise but it, it could hurt my bones is what I should have said Hey, it's baby making unit dash oh one, also known as wife. I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. Yeah. Your Max said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. I am. Sorry, I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. Yeah. Damned cough. She got the ligma from hanging out in the uh thing. Yeah. Can you shut the hell up while my wife is talking? Thank you. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. So Duke is like down there. That's actually him there. Let me zoom in on his uh, bones. There's another young Nibba over here. I don't think you can see him. Crest is below us. And uh, the two sentries that she was talking about are on this guard tower. There's one. There's the other. And the boss is over there on the tugboat pulling the whole thing. And uh, if you weren't paying attention to what Anna was saying or you don't understand, the whole point of what we're doing here is we're taking this, this ship or whatever because we need to get onto where the hell is it at? Onto this bridge way the hell over there, right? Okay. Crest has been excommunicated from being able to use that. We stole the trading caravan and we're taking this and we're basically going to take the boat, make them let us on, and then go through. That's what we're doing. Three. While Artyom, Duke, and Crest take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone. Alright, uh, another thing is, uh, you can sleep here, like, I, I don't know if she said it this time or just forgot or whatever, but the first time I played this, you can jump down in here and sleep, and, uh, if you sleep, you know, it makes it easier to stealth, so we're going to do that, because, no. Night time! Good night. And, uh, it's also very creepy, I don't know if she'll do it again, but she woke up, or I woke up with her sitting there watching me sleep the first time. She was actually just, like... Hovered over me like a, a like a mother, like a little child or sleep. But uh, maybe she'll do it again. Yep, there she is again. So are you rested? 
Well, it's time. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Okay. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is I don't need more. I've done this already, baby girl. I'll get down. Here on. Here on. Boink. All right, up we go. We're also going to quick save just in case because I did mess this up a couple times. So, yeah. Onward, here we go. I could go down. I didn't do that last time, but I don't know what's down there, so I'm not going to do that. I want to try to do this first first try if I can. Because I semi remember what to do here, but not 100%. I'm pretty sure I walked out here. Oh, was it nighttime and I slept till the day? Are you are you kidding me? Ooh, if I did, this is gonna be so much harder. Good night. How that guy didn't see me knock his friend out right there? Like what? Who knows? Wait till they go away. All right, and uh, now we gotta wait for these guys to stop talking, and uh, then they split off. And uh, when I first played, I originally thought this guy here was the captain. You know, because he's got the cool captain hat. No, he's not the captain. He's the secondary guy. He's like the second mate. And, uh, yeah. Oh, jump cut. All right, boys, we back. They're done talking. Now we're going to slink by them. Turn off this light and just slink. We're going to turbo slink. There's a guy below. There's a guy here. And now he's stealth. Will never be seen. Also, I think that was a pigger to my right, but I'm not sure. Stealth mode activated. It's like sicko mode, but you know, I'm Clancy. No lights, please. Alright, there's a guy above me. Gotta make sure he doesn't see my bony wonies. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on that woman. Climb down here. Boink. Then you can stealth by everyone, and nobody will see your bony wonies. Yeah, you can't eat all the fish. Anyway, move along and quit scaring the fish away with your bullshit. It's high time it stopped biting. Run! <laughs> He's gone now. Move on. And we've made it. We've done the thing. Oh god. Now I'm so stuck. How long are we going to keep sitting on our thumbs here? Well, the baggage is working on. The generator shuts off all the time. Just about got caught. He just about saw me. That's okay, because he didn't. And I shouldn't, you know, knock this guy out here because of this guy, but I want the loot. So I'm gonna knock him out and then turn off this light. Nobody will know. I'm greedy. Give me your loot, boy. Thanks. My loot now. All right, now we turn off this light. Blink behind this man here, because he's a big chungus with lots of loot. Uh, turn off this light just for good measures. Punch this guy right in the nose, because, you know, again, greedy plus loot equals yes. Mine? Said mine. Now we sneak back here and punch this guy in the head because you guys guessed it, loot. Good night, sir. Ah, we can slink through this bad boy for no reason, but we're doing it because content. All right, turn off the flight and we'll wait just in case there's someone in here. Yeah, there wasn't. Nice, we've done it. Gotta make sure this guy doesn't peer over and see my bony wonies. All right. Turn off this light. I think we're good. Oh my god. You bastard, turn around. Don't you look up over there. I'll put one right in his brain. You know I will. Please turn around, bro. Thank you. Now he's gonna get a real, real good night sleep. What's the use of just standing around? Oh, there is none, but that's okay. I'm going to lay you down, brother. See? Now you get to take a nap. 
All right, grab this guy's loot, this loot, and now we go in here. This is the captain's barge. This is the captain. What is good, brother? Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I can pay the, the goods. Take them. You can take the goods. Here's my boy. You know this Duke. We don't need your goods. Your As he like points the laser right inside of his soul. And here's a uh, here's our other engineer friend. Forgot his name. Uh, yes, of course. But he's there. Order your people to stand down, and nobody gets hurt at once. Hey, listen up, people. This is your skipper. Stand down and surrender at once. You did the right thing. It's These nice are beautiful windows. Guy for a change. Now go. <laughs> Great job, Artyom. Oh, Crest, that's his name. Artyom, all of our Arrow. guys are fine. You're great. All right, and uh, just just for reference, that sound and that like filter was the good ending or whatever, the good like choice or whatever, because I didn't kill anyone on the boat. No one got hurt. And then he, you know, obliged our order and, you know, told everyone to stand down. So we don't have to fight. Nobody died. Nobody got hurt on both sides. And now what we're doing is they take the boat, we hide on the boat, and then they drive through the bridge, and then we take the bridge. That, that's the whole point. And while they're doing that, and we're taking all of that, Miller, Anna, and somebody else, there's a couple other people, take the train that I took, plus the Aurora, and we go through the bridge. Boom. All right, baby, we back. We out here, you know. Og gang, early morning. This is the bridge. The almighty heretic, or not heretic, but the, the, the fish people bridge. This is like their main base of operations. And their their big boss man, Salanthius, or however the hell you say his name, is here. Hi, Crest. Crest stole that guy's hat. Because he's playing the role of Kipar. I'm gonna go ahead and crouch down too. I don't know why RTM was standing straight up, but Duke here, he's got the right idea. He's taking them the easy sit. Hey, you are sure. Get oh, crouch down, you spick. Hey, bye bye. Yes. I feel the same way, Chris. Shall we move? Yeah. Whoever gets there first wins. Break a leg. Absolutely, you're going straight down. I beat him the last time, 100% beating him this time. But he is a good man to give me a leg up. He's a good man. I love Duke. Allow me to spider monkey up this uh, big tension rope here. Alright, boys. We in it. No jump cut, gang. Hopefully first try. I did not do this part first try. But, uh, I, like I said, I semi-remember what to do. But you, you have to remember, I redid the entire Volga between this point And, uh, remade all the same decisions. So I was playing very, very long yesterday just to get back to a point to do this again. Because I, I didn't want to upload this without sound, because that's weird. And also, I could walk by this guy, because, you know. But you know I can't. And you know why I can't, and I'm not going to keep saying it. It's because of the loot. Boink. Ooh, that dropped my frames real good. Thank you, frames. Boink. Hey, some cool stuff, perhaps? Let me open up your locked door. Grant myself permission to your homeland. Turn off this light. Up and over. Good night. You know, that's, that's got a sting. Getting your ears clapped so hard you go to bed. Ooh, that's not good. They know I'm here. Oh, break the damn lock. Oh god. The guy almost saw me. Guy in here. Okay, uh, this did not happen before. You're not supposed to get caught here. Ooh, my Wamu. Okay. And? 
Can we do this? Okay, we can. He turned back around. Thank God. And boom. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, we're almost there, boys. We're almost there. Alright, let's go. We are so close. Goodbye. Don't see, please. Ignore. Duke, please. You're gonna lose again, brother. You lost last time. You lost this time. Don't start with me. Alright, now this is also a part I was worried about here, because, you know, uh, like this guy and all these people, and I was like, whoa, what am I gonna do? But he did the same thing twice, where he comes back here, away from everyone, and I can put him to bed. Alright. Up and over. Now we stealth by this. Hopefully no one sees me, I'm not going to look over there because 100% confidence. And by that I mean I was shaking quite a bit in my boots, but you can't see it. Open up the damn lock. Turn off please, thank you. No lights here. You guys are anti-technology, I'm anti-light. That's my cult. Turn this off. No lights for you, I already told you. Come on. Turn around, brother. I gotta get up there. Please. Two thousand years later. Oh god, I may have just cuffed myself. Please don't come down here. Seven hours later. <laughs> I, you know, he didn't move. He did last time. But whatever. I got him. Doesn't matter. Turn off this light. Go on up here, sneak by the guards. Please don't turn around, please don't turn around, please don't turn around. Okay, he didn't see me. Oh, he did see me! Re okay, that guy didn't see me this time, hopefully. Alright, uh, I could knock both of these guys out, but they're right beside of each other, and chances are they would see him. So, I'm gonna walk by him. Can I go in here? Nope. What about in here? No. <laughs> Alright, I'll just kill your leader. No lights for you, though. That's never gonna change. No more lights. Hello. How are you? Also, I beat Duke. Give yeah, Duke. Yep. Yeah. That's what my wife says when I'm in bed with her. Take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First, you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to No, us. no. I didn't kill the elders or the children. the children. I only knocked Never people out and bandits. I killed them, but only some of them because they're dicks. Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. All right, we've done it. Now, uh, the, the thing here that I was about to say, like the thing I talked about before, is there's moral choices in the game, and you get points for good slash bad. You gain points if you do good stuff. You lose points if you do bad stuff. And one of the things that can happen here, it didn't happen in the first part, and it didn't happen now because I made the same choices. Duke dies here. He gets shot, all these people start shooting, and then he pushes you over the edge and wants you to live, but he dies. So, uh, if Duke died, I don't know if I could keep playing the game. I, I like Duke. I'd feel real bad if Duke died specifically because of me. So, yeah. Hey, it's my wife. Don't put your hand on my wiener. This is a good Christian game. Is he up yet? Hello. Hey, those are my guns. Colonel wants you on the breach. See you later. The train looks a Come lot more roomy. On, wake up. Damn wife making the train look good. Hello. What? What do you want? You did a great job there. Yeah, I'm insane. Not home anymore. Can so I sit here? <gasps> I can. Smoothly. 
What this? It's not like there's many of us humans left. Three. <laughs> so I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because, because they are people too. Let me tone out my wife here real quick. Oops, how do I get out of this? No, I didn't want it. No, re. We've been on the road for. I've been listening to the radio too. Oh, okay. And there was not a single transmission about any occupying force. Nice. There's so much regular chatter. So many stories. It's almost like we were lied to for that 20 years and the, the surface world has been repopulating the entire time. Meaning. Thanks, Miller. Why would they be so secretive? Why aren't they using this railroad? Why don't they at least control its key junctions? Why did they not install any roadblocks? If they are even out here. This is the main transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not here at all. Maybe they never came here, or they are already gone. Though, where to? Remember, neither Katya nor Crest have ever met them. True. That's that's a good point, actually. Though we seem to be doing just fine, even without them. Yeah. It's like middle ages. I mean, we were doing pretty good in the metro. We're pretty advanced for people that lived underground. Getting them killed. You saw the bandits and how they were armored. They look nothing like us. Lies, nonsense, and human sacrifices and us we had been living down there for so many years fighting each other and nobody even thought you could live outside and now we can boom oh. stay here for a bit Artie. oh yeah baby we gonna sit that's what i was waiting for all right guys you know as per usual you saw the whole thing i hope great. you guys enjoyed I thought I, I would end I this episode this where forever. I knew, because I haven't left the room. Past this room is completely new to me, but this is where I stopped stop. playing. And Off I didn't want to stop playing without petting Did my wife while ending this video. So editing Noah, you know what to do, bruh. Yeet.